this video, we'll be looking specifically at Newton's Law of Gravitation. Now, Newton's Law of Gravitation is all about forces. So when we're considering the force provided by the gravitational field, we have an attractive force that acts between masses. Now, we can tell, based on the basic evidence we're familiar with, that gravity is going to be affected by the masses involved. So the force experienced by any mass is influenced by both its own mass and the mass of the source of the field that they're in. So in this case, we also have the idea of the inverse square law continuing to apply, because the further away two masses are, then the dramatically weaker that force becomes. So when dealing with distance in this case, just as the previous video, we have to deal with the radius being the distance from the center of mass of the origin of the field to the target, which in this case is another mass, so the center of that mass as well. So we can say easily that force is proportional to the product of mass 1 and mass 2, as well as being inversely proportional to the square of this radial distance. So this leads us to an easy equation. The force experienced by both masses is equal to g m1 m2 all over r squared. So f is our force in newtons, and as we said, it is the same force experienced by both masses involved. Big G is again our gravitational constant. We have R as our radial distance, radial displacement. So that is again measured from the center of mass of the first object to the center of mass of the second object. And then we have the masses themselves. Now it doesn't matter which one is classified as M1 and M2, because they're simply a product. Being multiplied means it won't make a difference. Thank you for your time.